Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and this is the fourth demo of Pigtail and Hamlog. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the ICOM 706 Mark II G. And uh, actually, the um, when I started working with ICOM, I'm using this uh, aftermarket serial cable from um, G4ZLP Electronics in the UK. And I had this shipped to me, purchased and shipped for about $20.00 and um, it works great but what I found out was that um, all of the aftermarket or I would say most of the aftermarket um, ICOM cables require power and uh, usually what they're relying on is the DTR or data terminal ready pin 4 uh, on the DB9 connector to have um, voltage there so that it can power the uh, insides of this guy which is actually doing a, a level conversion from RS-232 down to TTL. So none of the other radios require that, so I didn't have it on the board. So um, I had to make new boards. So it's uh, it shouldn't delay it much. Um, I sent the order off on Thursday, and I should have new boards on Wednesday. But um, other than those PCBs, I have every single thing to sell these. Um, so once those come in on Wednesday, then I'll, you know, uh, get everything packaged up and uh, do a bunch of testing and things like that. Um, hoping to turn the web store on as well as publish version 4.0 uh, at the same time as Visalia DX convention on I think it's the 20th that weekend. Uh, so hopefully everything works out and um, and you'll be able to hit the website and and get yourself one. So let's uh, let's take a look at this guy with ICOM. Uh, you can see I already had it selected, but let's go back and add a contact. All right, so CW 40 meters, same thing down here. I can back up a little bit and let's uh, change the mode. So I just cut out a section of video where I was trying to figure out why um, I didn't have mode or frequency popping up there. That's because I didn't have it plugged in. So I got it all plugged in now, and uh, everything's working great. So let's take a look here. We have um, 80 meters, and we're on CW. You can see the same up top. If I change modes down here, RTTY pops up up top, AM, LSB, USB. Uh, if we change bands, see it reflected up top. Also, if I spin the VFO, so let's look at the pigtail UI. Uh, a little bit different. Uh, you can see where I'm starting to um, to play with a way to show whether something's on or off. You can see these red and green icons here. It turns out these um, particular controls in the UI, you can't have two of them turn on at the same time. Um, so you can do momentary or selected, and but you can only have one of them selected at a time. So uh, I have to work around it. And I think um, I'm kind of liking this uh, this icon thing here. You can see that there's a one green and four red. Uh, but let's look at everything else, then we'll look at that. Um, same as the other interfaces, we have um, you know, we can switch around modes here. And let's uh, fit it all in. All right, so if we switch around modes here. You can see that all th well, you can't see the top, but uh, you can see the radio is changing. It's changing here, and it is changing up top as well. Uh, we can switch around the different bands. can enter the frequency here. Oops. Let's go to 14060. Set. Uh, scan on and off. You can switch between VFO and memory. 
uh, VFO A and B and we can send those VFO memories that you saw in the settings in, um, in one of the other videos. And as far as those options are concerned, um, if we look at what's turned on now on the radio, the preamp's turned on here with the green indicator and then there's nothing else turned on. Uh, if we look up top here, you can see that we have the green icon above the preamp and red on everything else. So if we start turning these on, you can see they're all green now. If we look down at the radio, you can see that um, as soon as it focuses, that they've all turned on here. So let's, uh, let's look at them both at the same time. Uh, for example, if I hit the NB button, now you can see that it turned off down here. And now it's back on. If you watch that preamp indicator light here on the left while I tap it, you can see it turn on and off. So that's what ICOM looks like. Uh, this It's the same on the phone, uh, but I haven't tested it yet. So um, I'll be doing that this afternoon. And let me know what you think. Thanks.